The AI arena is heating up as Google is about to throw down the gauntlet with its much anticipated Gemini, stepping into the ring with OpenAI's heavyweight ChatGPT. Hey everyone, I'm Noel, your AI aficionado. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get updates on when our awesome AI videos get released. Now, let's talk about Gemini. It's not just any conversational AI, it's a multimodal marvel. From text and images to audio, this system speaks the universal language of tech and it's almost here. Google has opened up testing of Gemini to select companies, indicating that its consumer launch could be right around the corner. In the other corner, though, we have ChatGPT, the talk of the town since last November. From finance to healthcare, industries are racing to harness its jaw-dropping conversational prowess. Google, meanwhile, seems cool as a cucumber, navigating towards what it calls an AI-first future, but what exactly does that mean? Well, it's weaving AI magic across docs, maps, search, you name it. With fresh AI upgrades announced, Google is reshaping how we explore the digital universe. Opening eye, you guys better brace yourselves because the competition is about to get wild. But what about you? Are you excited for this AI battle of the ages? Let me know in the comments. Now, while we're all waiting with bated breath for Gemini, Google's Bard AI is also leveling up, diving deep into the tech giant's arsenal of tools. Bard's not just about writing essays or organizing events anymore, it's now a multi-tool wonder. Ask Bard, plan my trip with real flight options, or summarize my meeting notes, and watch the AI magic unfold. Bard's also going global, chatting in multiple languages and keeping it real with new fact-checking capabilities. Built on an updated language model, Bard is here to revolutionize your digital experience. Imagine asking Bard for a best man speech template or YouTube inspiration videos, ooh, I need that, <laughs> all in one go. Or getting trip suggestions complete with Google Maps directions. Google's also ensuring your digital privacy, linking Gmail, Docs, and Drive to Bard. It's all opt-in, so your personal data stays personal. And there's no targeted advertising or hidden AI training in sight, well, you know, so far. There's also the super neat double check button. Users can verify Bard's responses, keeping the AI accountable and transparent. Again, Bard's recent evolution is a sneak peek into Google's vision, which is integrating generative AI across all of its services. So what do you think about this possible Google-dominated AI future? You for it or against it? Let me know in the comments. Google's not the only one with a much-anticipated AI tool. OpenAI's Dolly 3 is about to hit the streets, and with a ChatGPT twist that's looking absolutely amazing. OpenAI's Dolly 3 is the latest Picasso in the AI art scene, and it's got a ChatGPT sidekick. From photorealistic to fantastical, this duo is going to paint the town red. Struggling with prompts is old news now. Prompt engineering might be the new black, but with ChatGPT in the mix, it's a walk in the park. After chatting, make a little tweak here and there and boom! Art magic right in the app. Dolly 3 isn't just serving looks, it's smarter, sharper, and knows its way around tricky content. Human hands, intricate text, consider them aced. And talk about quality, it's like HD met 4K and had a baby. Dolly 3 is also about safety and respect. No mimicking living artists or dabbling with public figures. And artists are feeling the love because OpenAI's got their backs with opt-out choices that put them in control. Dolly 3 is making its grand entrance in October, woo, so soon. So mid-journey and stability AI, you better watch out. And what about you? Do you think that Dolly 3 is gonna be the AI image generator to rule them all? Let me know in the comments. Next up is some drama happening over at NVIDIA. Ooh, more drama, spicy. Ever heard of Jacopo Pantaleoni? He's the NVIDIA genius who just left the building, and he's got some real talk about the giants of AI. So, why would a scientist at the top of his game walk away from NVIDIA? Is he fleeing from the killer robots and the AI uprisings? Uh, no, not so much. Pantaleoni's beef is with the colossal power, heaps of data, and brainy minds of behemoths like Google. These giants are holding all the aces, making it a tough playground for the new kids and the academics. Imagine having all of the chips and the power-ups. Well, that's exactly what big tech is. And all the startups are just hanging on to these giants' capes. Pantaleoni's throwing down the gauntlet, saying that it's time for a shakeup. He's also telling governments that we need those power-ups shared and the underdogs fueled. AI's promise is huge, but it's got a bumpy road ahead. But what do you think? Do you think it matters where AI comes from or who makes it? Or are you with Pantaleoni in that the keys to the AI kingdom are better spread out and not just in the hands of a few giants? Let me know in the comments. Finally, Anthropic, the genius minds behind the beloved Claude chatbot is scaling AI like never before, but with a safety net, introducing the unprecedented responsible scaling policy. Woof, that's a mouthful. Tailored to fend off catastrophic AI misadventures, this policy is the guardian we didn't know we needed. From financial meltdown to real world havoc, RSP looks to have all of it covered. 
Anthropic introduces AI safety levels, mirroring the US bio safety levels to gauge and manage AI risks. From low risk ASL0 to high alert ASL3, each tier is a checkpoint in the AI safety marathon. A living document, the RSP also evolves, adapts, and gets sharper with every twist and turn in the AI journey. In an era where AI ethics are under the microscope, Anthropic, with its stellar lineup from OpenAI and backing from tech giant Google, is setting the bar high. The company's transparency and accountability have made it the current frontrunner in the AI safety relay. Will this be the dawn of the safe new AI era we all want? Let me know in the comments. Buckle up and stay ahead of the AI curve. Go to there'sanaiforthat.com for your AI fix. Trust me, it's like an AI candy store. Again, I'm Noel, your AI aficionado. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get updates on when our awesome AI videos get released. See you in the next episode where the future is now and the code is always exciting. Thank you.